All right, so what we're gonna go through today is another mobility series. This is a simple at-home drill that you could do every single day to work on increasing your range of motion, your mobility, and the focus today is gonna be more on the upper body or the shoulders. Each drill is gonna be one minute in length, the analogy or the paradigm that we wanna think about doing these drills in is the same way we think about brushing or flossing our teeth every single day. You don't brush or floss your teeth in order to get rid of a cavity or fix something that's wrong. You do it to maintain the health of your teeth in the same way that we're doing these drills in order to maintain the health, the range of motion, and the movement in our joints. So we're not doing this to fix certain joints, we're doing this as preparation work so hopefully we keep our joints active our joints working well so that they have the best range of motion possible so that you're not limiting yourself because your body is unable to get to certain positions or certain points i talked about this a little bit in the two minute talk about what is golf fitness with the example of shoulder external rotation so shoulder external rotation or the top of your backswing is a prerequisite position for you to swing a golf club so if you do not have shoulder external rotation, you're gonna have a very hard time swinging a golf club effectively. So exercise number one, first minute, we're gonna grab a stick, we're gonna grab a band, a towel, anything wide where we can get our hands to this outer point, right, nice and stretched out here. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go all the way over the top and forward. All the way over the top and forward. So all we're doing is taking our shoulder through all these different ranges of motion. We're flexing, we're extending, we're getting a little bit of external and internal rotation, right? Nice and simple, just maintaining that shoulder range of motion. When we do this for an extended period of time, it starts to put a little bit of fatigue into that joint, gets those muscles working, gets everything in that, uh, that shoulder joint working, right? Nice and loose. If this is too difficult, what we can do is get a 90 degree angle and just go Try and clear that ear. We're always gonna use pain as a stopping point. So if at any range you have pain, that's gonna be your stopping point below that pain point, right? So that's drill number one. For number two, same idea, we're gonna just work one side at a time a little bit more. So right now I'm gonna use this arm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cross my face with that arm, I'm going over the top, and then I'm crossing over with the other arm. So I'm crossing, crossing. Cross the face, cross. Right, so we're gonna do obviously both sides of your body, both arms, so you can do one minute per side, or you can do 30 seconds per side, depending on how well you do this, how difficult it is, right? But nice and loose, just warming up that shoulder joint, taking it through all the different ranges of motion it has, right? Working on increasing that workspace in your shoulder joint. So now I'm on the other side, and over. Cross the face, and over. Cross the face, and over. Right, nice and loose, keeping my spine straight, my body's not going with it, I'm not turning my body and turning my spine, I'm trying to get all that range of motion just out of my shoulder joint. Keep it nice and loose, nice and active. All right, so for number three, we're gonna take the stick now, we're gonna grab about the middle point, and we're gonna put our hand on the outside here, you could substitute a golf club for this drill if you don't have the stick, right? So one hand is flat, one hand is down. All we're doing is keeping the head still, Right, we're gonna drive up as far as we can and back down. Drive up as far as we can and back down. So this is a little bit more of a chest stretch. We're getting some shoulder range of motion there as well. But all we're trying to do is get as much reach up as we can, pushing a little bit through that hand and back to start point. Push up and through, back to start point. All right, same idea. We can do a minute a side or we can do 30 seconds per side, depending on time, depending how difficult this is. Right, everything, spine stays straight, head stays straight. We're just rotating up as far as we can and back down. Rotating that shoulder up as far as we can, back down. Right, you should feel a big stretch in your chest all through this area. Again, touching on that idea, if we can't get to here comfortably, we're gonna be very limited in our golf swing or what we're capable of doing. Right, so for the next one, we're gonna add a little bit of rotation into it now. So what we're gonna do is our bottom hand, we're gonna get a 90 degree angle, palm up. Other hand, palm down, elbows are tight on both sides. Now we're gonna let our body turn, and we're up. Turn, and we're back up. So as I turn, I'm putting some slight push, forcing that external rotation at the top, and back to start. Turn, back to start. Turn, back to start. Spine is straight, head is neutral. Again, same idea, one minute aside, 30 seconds aside depending on difficulty, depending on tightness, 
nice and smooth, working that range of motion. Again, getting to that same prerequisite position that you need in order to swing your golf club, right? If we can't get to here, we're gonna have a very hard time consistently swinging golf club or getting to the places that you need to be. All right, so those are four different drills that all address the shoulder joint. All these drills are very simple to do. You can do them in your home and they're all trying to reinforce getting into good positions, having good shoulder health. We wanna think of this as a daily activity or a weekly activity that we're, cons uh, we're consistently putting some time into to maintain or hopefully increase the range of motion of our shoulder. Our bodies are always adapting to whatever it is we do. The better you're able to do these little ranges of motion in the gym or in your own home, the easier it's gonna be when you're putting those ranges of motion to work in a dynamic movement, which is your golf swing. So my goal isn't to really dissect or go over any of the technique side of the golf swing. My goal is to just get your body moving as best as possible so that you have the least amount of body limitations or restrictions when you do play golf or when you go for your golf lesson. Improve your body to work as best as possible to ultimately and hopefully improve your golf game.